Welcome to today's session. Of late, the government of India has been giving a lot of thrust to renewable energy and especially to solar energy. There has been a lot of progress in the ground mount solar section and at the current rate by 2050, India will likely stare at a pile of a new category of electronic waste because of the solar energy that we are investing in and that will lead to a lot of solar e-waste. India's PV that is photovoltaic waste volume is estimated to grow at 200,000 tons by 2030 and at around 1.8 million tons by 2050. So solar e-waste is a very serious issue. So let's understand more about this issue in today's video. Let's get started. So first let's start by understanding what are the harmful components of the solar panel are that actually cause the harm. Okay, what constitute the solar e-waste and what are the concerns, right? So the solar modules use very very hazardous materials like the lead compounds, cadmium compounds and other polymers and these compounds if they are not disposed of properly after they get used up then they can lead to leaching and leaching of these hazardous materials can have very very negative environmental and also human health impacts. For example leaching of lead can cause huge environmental damage like loss to biodiversity, decreased growth and reproductive rates in plants and animals and several other health hazards like adverse impact on kidney function, nervous function, immunity is reduced, reproductive capacity will be reduced and cardiovascular systems will be affected. Now we need to understand one point here. See India already has its e-waste rules in place. E-waste rules e-waste disposal rules of 2016 which were again amended in 2018. They are already there in place but there are certain missing pieces in that legislation. Now let's look at the missing pieces or what is missing, what the problem is. See India's e-waste rules have no law which mandates that a solar cell manufacturer has to recycle or dispose waste from that sector. So basically the e-waste rules are not applicable to the solar cell manufacturers. India is poorly equipped to handle PV waste that is photovoltaic waste from the solar energy sector. Why? Because we don't have a policy framework, we don't have guidelines. That's the problem and this lack of policy framework leads to unavailability of basic facilities. For example, even basic recycling facilities for laminated glass and e-waste are unavailable in India. So the basic recycling facilities are also unavailable. In spite of having the e-waste regulations in place over 7 years now, only less than 4% of estimated e-waste is recycled in the organized sector as per the latest estimates from the CPCB which is abysmally low and government needs to do something about it and we have good guidelines we can take it from other countries we can take it from international best practices and even in our framework also in our e-waste management rules there's something called EPR it's extended producer responsibility that means the manufacturer has to take responsibility while disposing of the waste as well so these rules of EPR should be extended to solar as well. Now let's look at what should be done, what is the need of the R. See there should be specific liability and responsibility. See these two things are very important, liability and responsibility of each stakeholder for waste management like I already mentioned EPR should be brought about even for the solar sector. Mandate module manufacturers to use environmentally sustainable design. Sustainable designing ideas should be encouraged and materials with end of life in mind. So this end of life in mind is nothing again but sustainability right. So keeping that in mind manufacturing should be done and designing should be done. And standards for PV waste collection, treatment and disposal should be given that is policy framework should be there in place and encourage mutual recycling responsibility agreements between the module suppliers, project developers and power purchasers. See this again comes back to liability and responsibility. Everybody should be held responsible and accountable for their own actions and undertake regular surveys of recycling facilities. See, there should not be any scope where people will neglect these rules and there should be some kind of regulation. 
For that, they are suggesting regular checks and surveys. See, India is among the leading markets for solar cells in the world. And so far, India has installed solar cells for about 28 gigawatt. And this has been done largely from imported solar PV cells. Therefore, it is high time that our country puts in place, our government puts in place a comprehensive policy to address the issue of solar e-waste. So with this we have come to the end of today's session. Here we have mentioned a few model questions. Please answer them. Hope you like this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.